Now for the top story tonight. As we did earlier this week with coerced interrogation, we are going to put the rumors to rest about what really happened during the raid on bin Laden's compound last Sunday. Joining us now from Boston, Fox News military analyst Colonel David Hunt, and from the Pentagon, Fox News correspondent Jennifer Griffin. Now, Jennifer, I, I understand that you, you talked to somebody. Is this a primary source? Um, this is a primary source who was has intimate knowledge of the raid okay, and so that, was part of the mission. And just explain to the people, primary source, somebody who was there, saw it and told Jennifer the following. Pick it up when the helicopters land. Essentially, the helicopters land. 24 SEAL team members enter the compound along with a dog. They have a dog and an interpreter. So they have 25 members to the team. They immediately take fire from the guest house. There were two houses within the compound, a two-story um, guest house. That's where the courier fired from. Only one of the four male members had a weapon fired at them and uh, was found with a weapon once he was killed. They subdued him very quickly, he was shot and killed, moved into the three-story uh, part of the compound where Bin Laden and his family were living on the second and third floors. What I'm told is they made their way up the stairwell. On the second floor, they killed bin Laden's son, Khalid. Uh, he was rushing at them down the stairwell. Uh, bin Laden poked his head out of the door, went back into the bedroom. The SEAL had fired when he poked his head out, missed. They immediately stormed into the bedroom. They found about 10 people in there at the time. Uh, bin Laden was standing, and I'm, this is a dis direct description from those who were part of the raid. They say that he was uh, confused, he was scared, and he acted cowardly. What does that mean? He shoved his wife, I'm being told, at the SEAL, and suddenly the SEAL found himself face-to-face uh, -face with bin Laden. Bin Laden was close to the door, and near the door were two weapons, an AK-47 and a Makarov semi-automatic 9mm Russian handgun. He was within reach of those, though he did not have a weapon at the time that he was killed. All right, so he shoves his wife, a young woman, into the SEAL's path. Um, and then the SEAL basically, I guess, shot her in the leg? Did she get shot in the leg? There, there were, yes, she got shot in the leg. Um, more than one SEAL fired, by the way. And um, you also have to picture this. I'm, it's being described to me that the women were, were being shoved at them at different parts of the compound. They were coming at them screaming. They were hysterical. Um, there were also a number of children. Don't forget, there were a large number of children. A few of those children left the room just as the SEALs entered. They scurried out. But the SEALs also took pains to, to um, grab the three-year-old son of bin Laden, who was in the the room with him and get him out safely. So they had children all over the place, and they had uh, a very. They had to act very quickly. They had trained because they thought that Bin Laden would have a suicide bomb belt and that they would encounter explosives as they entered the compound. Okay. Now, Colonel, this jives up to what I'm sure you're hearing because I think Jennifer's source is impeccable. Um, when you have uh, women coming at you hysterically and they're trying to impede the SEAL's progress, not that the women had guns or anything, and they would just creating chaos in there. What, is, what are the special ops orders there? Just not to kill women and children at all? Or what, what, are, what are the orders? The orders are they have a shoot, no shoot criteria. The guys, the average age of the SEALs that went in was about 38 years old. They also had five other people. They were CIA site exploitation and forensic experts. Uh, you, they, these SEALs will train at about, at about 50,000 rounds per man per year. That's more than a police department, a large, minute-sized police department uses for all their police officers. And they train specifically in shoot, no shoot. There were 22 fa civilians, family members, there was another family in the compound that were safe. They, the SEALs did not indiscriminately shoot anybody. It took about 30 seconds from the time they get to the front door and the time they killed Bin Laden to, to get that part of the operation. Total about 10 minutes on the ground because they so, were picking let me up just you. So all, it took 30 seconds stuff. for them to get up the stairs, go through all of this stuff, and kill bin Laden. That's what you're saying, 30 yeah. seconds? Okay, does that jive with yeah. your information, and Jennifer? Well, the only thing I can confirm is that bin Laden was killed about 20 minutes into the 38-minute raid, so about halfway through. The rest of that time they spent gathering up intelligence and getting rid of uh, trying to destroy the helicopter tail that was, the right. helicopter that was left behind. We have a little discrepancy there, um, but no, that, that's Bill, there's not, No, Go there's ahead. no discrepancy. She's right. The, 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 the total time for the raid is what Jennifer's talking about. 
but that includes the shootouts he's talking about and the site exploitation, picking up computer parts, thumb drives, and getting all these civilians gathered. I'm talking about from the time they entered the building to killing bin Laden. So bin Laden took was about waiting upstairs seconds. with his wife and his kids and this and that while there was a lot of action going down on the, uh, on the uh, ground floor, is what you're saying, correct? Yeah, clearing a three story building by these guys is not difficult. Okay. The rest of so it he is. Knew, he getting knew everybody. that he was in big yeah. trouble up there. Um, you know, I wonder why he didn't grab the guns and this and that and go out blazing. I think, and I could be wrong here, Jennifer, you correct me, that the um, SEALs were under orders to kill bin Laden, not take him back. Well, I think what, you, what we know is that they certainly did not go into this mission believing that they would capture him. Yes, I, I, uh, think, I think we true. can say that certainly. And um, I do think that's interesting that bin Laden himself was not shooting, as you said. He had guns in the room and he was dazed, confused, and, and this is a description from people who were there. He behaved in a cowardly manner well, yeah, and he was, I, I, he was I'm scared. I'm not surprised by that. He probably wanted to be captured, but to do that would have been a political nightmare. Where do you put him? And in the, you know, the crazed world goes nuts. Do you concur with that, Colonel Hunt, that, that they went in and pretty much his fate was sealed as soon as they saw him? Yeah, there's no question. I mean, it was a, they, they had, yes, kill bin Laden. And it's very appropriate. These are the right guys to have done that. And to show you the discipline, Jennifer's already talked about it, but there were a lot of civilians in this yeah, compound. No, no, right, they didn't kill any of them. They, they did not the shoot. Son. How old was his son, Jennifer, that got killed? The son, I believe, was 19 years old. It's Khalid. He's not the famous son, Hamza, who is still at large in Pakistan, we understand. Okay. Well, very fascinating. We appreciate you both coming on tonight.